Yellow Jackets have no issue making it to the playoffs. This year, the Jackets hope to push even further and return to state for the first time since 2016. Aliceville is stop number 26 on the high school football tour. WCBI Sports 2020 High School Football Tour is brought to you by Itawamba Community College, Cannon Ford of Starkville, Monroe County Farm Bureau, Max South Broadband, and the Bank of Vernon. Just to be in the stadium and actually just to see the smiling faces. Whether it's players, whether it's fans. Besides the smiling faces, the Ellisville Yellow Jackets have plenty to look forward to heading into the 2020 season. The Yellow Jackets return following an 8-3 and three year. However, head coach Melvin Pete wants his team to learn from last year's losses. Don't think that everybody can play with you. You can turn on the light switch when you, you get ready. And uh, that's what's, what kind of was our uh, biggest mistake um, as far as last year. You know, we... We kind of got in a dogfight, and uh, we ended up coming up short because of they did a great job of playing keep away. Every down means something for Pete and his team. One player he doesn't have to reiterate that to, sophomore quarterback Ty Williams. In his freshman season, Williams threw for over 1,100 yards and 16 touchdowns. According to Coach Pete, he's already eager to do more. This is a guy who uh, actually will call me in the middle of the night and and like, coach, I just got to watch the film. Why did you hold back on 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 play calling against Gardo? I said, man, I was trying to protect you. And we're not gonna do that this year, coach. I'm gonna be ready. I was like, man, you're talking a lot, but let's 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 see. While the Yellow Jackets can count on Williams to take care of the pass game, Aliceville has to replace running back Xavier Wilkins, who accounted for nearly 1,500 yards rushing for the Jackets in 2019. I don't think the the running game will be. Uh, a problem because of I'm really kind of relying on the guys up front, you know, with with that as far as uh, our guys up front have kind of been together for, I know, at least uh, two years. And I, I've just never been where we uh, kind of had our O-line. I've always tried to kind of had to rebuild it, you know, every year. But this is the first time that we've ever had um, a solid group. That is, that is coming back and returning. As the season approaches, Pete is also focusing on building a strong defensive line. There's some real big-time players, our corners. So uh, the other thing is, is that we do have a guy by the name of Kobe Sparks that's returning at defensive end. And our biggest challenge this year is trying to find a, a, the other uh, end. So we, we're trying to find some, uh, uh, you know, just some – some more D linemen that we think that we have some that have some experience, but we um, we really trying to kind of toughen up our front more so than anything else. Aliceville kicks off the season against Green County on August 21st with the Yellow Jackets on the high school football tour. Courtney Robb, WCBI Sports. WCBI Sports 2020 High School Football Tour with Aliceville High School is brought to you by H and R AgriPower. Shop and save and J. Sand Flooring Professionals. <laughs>